A wise preacher once said, faith is not belief without proof, but trust without reservation. Faith is an act of believing when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. Can you picture a life where the impossible becomes possible, where mountains move with just a word, and where miracles are not just stories, but everyday realities? That is a life of faith, a life that we ought to live as believers in Christ Jesus. Today, we delve into the extraordinary power of faith, the kind of faith that can transform lives, heal the broken, and bring forth blessings beyond measure. Join me on this journey as we walk by faith and not by sight, while experiencing the miraculous. Faith is the very foundation of our spiritual journey. To believe that God exists requires faith because we have not seen God. Faith is that force that empowers us to transcend the limitations of our physical senses and embrace the divine promises of God. To walk by faith and not by sight is a profound principle that allows us to trust in God's unfailing love and guidance, even when our circumstances seem daunting. The Bible is filled with numerous stories that illustrate the power of faith. One of the most compelling examples is that of Abraham, who was also called the father of faith. Abraham's life was marked by an unprecedented and unshakable trust in God. Despite facing numerous trials and uncertainties, he still strongly trusted God beyond a shadow of a doubt. One of the most remarkable moments in his journey was when God commanded him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac, that was a very hard decision for a father to make. Just imagine being asked to sacrifice your only son that you awaited his arrival for so many years. Amazingly, Abraham obeyed without hesitation, demonstrating his absolute faith in God's plan. Just as he was about to carry out the act, God provided a ram as a substitute, showcasing his provision and faithfulness. You see, God's thoughts for us are good. Never think that God desires to see you unhappy or hurt. That is why He will always make a way. You may not see it now, but there is always a light at the end of the tunnel, just like there was for Abraham. Another instance of Abraham's remarkable faith is highlighted in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8, which says, By faith Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Abraham's willingness to leave his homeland and venture into the unknown is strong proof of his faith in God. He obeyed God and moved even though he never knew his destination. When we walk in faith, we will be able to step out even without having all the answers. Faith enables us to trust in God's promise, believing that He will guide us every step of the way. You need to know that God does not provide a detailed blueprint for our entire lives. If we knew every detail of our journey, there would be no need for faith. Instead, God calls us to take steps of faith, trusting that He knows the path ahead. As 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says, For we live by faith, not by sight. This verse encapsulates the essence of our spiritual walk. We are called to trust in what we cannot see, believing that God is working behind the scenes for our good. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen, according to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It is the confident belief that God's promises are true, even when our circumstances suggest otherwise. No matter what you are going through, know that God will never relent on His promises. The book of James chapter 2 verse 26 reminds us that faith without deeds is dead. Our faith must be active, manifesting in our actions and decisions. 
we must live out our faith daily, trusting in God's provision and guidance. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, Jesus emphasized the power of faith. It says, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. This promise encourages us to approach God with boldness and confidence, knowing that He hears our prayers and responds to our faith. Walking by faith requires us to relinquish control and trust in God's plan, even when it does not align with our understanding. Romans chapter 10, verse 17, tells us that faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Our faith is strengthened as we immerse ourselves in God's word, allowing his truth to shape our hearts and minds. As we meditate on his promises, our faith grows, enabling us to trust him more deeply. Another powerful scripture is Mark chapter 11, verses 22 to 23 where Jesus says, Have faith in God. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. This verse challenges us to speak in faith, declare God's promises over our lives, and believe in His power to move mountains. Faith is not passive, it is active and dynamic. It involves a continuous reliance on God's promises and a steadfast trust in His character. As we navigate life's challenges, let us remember the words of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. This is to admonish us to keep our faith strong no matter what we may face. Our faith is our anchor, keeping us steady amid life's storms. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, we are reminded that without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Now we know that God is pleased by every act or pronunciation of faith that we make. Our faith pleases God and opens the door for His blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs in our lives. Walking by faith and not by sight is a call to live a life of trust and dependence on God. It is an invitation to experience His healing, blessings, miracles, abundance, and breakthroughs. As we align our hearts with His Word and step out in faith, we will see His hand at work in ways we could never imagine. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. Dearest Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of faith and expectation. We thank you for your love and grace, and we acknowledge that without faith, it is impossible to please you. Therefore, Lord, we ask for the courage to walk by faith and not by sight, to trust in your promises, even amidst the uncertainties of life. Lord God, we lift our eyes to you, the author and finisher of our faith. You are the one who was, who is, and who is to come. We pray for your divine guidance as we navigate the challenges of life. Help us to remember that you are always with us. Strengthen our faith, Lord, and help us to trust in your timing and your plans. Father, we cry out to you this moment that you increase our faith in you. We are humans and may not be perfect in our ways but you are God and you are supreme over all. Help us to rely on you wholly and trust you without reservations. In the scriptures, the apostles cried out that you should increase their faith. Lord, that is our prayer today in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for blessings and abundance. We ask that you open the windows of heaven 
and shower your blessings upon us. We believe that you are our provider and that you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. You provided a lamb to Abraham for sacrifice, even at the last minute. Provide a miracle for us in unexpected situations. Help us to walk in obedience and faith, trusting that you will provide for us in every circumstance. Father, we pray for healing in every area of our lives. The Bible says that the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Lord, we stand on your word and declare that by your stripes we are healed. We cast out every disease from our bodies. We command every organ to begin to function optimally. We ask for your miraculous touch to bring restoration and wholeness. We believe that you are the God of miracles, and we trust in your power to heal and deliver us from every affliction. We pray for breakthroughs, Father. We ask that you break every chain that is holding us back and open doors of opportunity that no man can shut. We believe that with you all things are possible. Help us to trust in your power and to step out in faith, knowing that you are working on our behalf. Lord, we lift our families and loved ones to you. We pray for your protection and guidance over them. May you shield them from every evil. Help us to be a source of encouragement and faith to those around us. Let our lives be a testimony of your goodness and faithfulness. Father, we ask for your wisdom and discernment. Help us to make decisions that are aligned with your will. We pray for the courage to step out in faith, even when we do not have all the answers. Remind us that you are with us every step of the way, and that your plans for us are good. Lord, we thank you for the gift of faith. We pray that you will help us to trust in you more each day. We believe that you can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Father, may you bring to us all our expectations. May they not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk in faith and not by sight, trusting in your promises and your faithfulness. Heavenly Father, we lift up the apostles, pastors, and all the ministers of the gospel. We pray for more grace and anointing upon their lives as they propagate the gospel of the kingdom in power and truth. May they be vessels of honor, used mightily for your glory. May you give them an unshakable faith in you, dear Lord. We pray for the less privileged and victims of disasters and war. Lord, uphold and preserve them. Protect them from harm and death. Provide for their needs and be their refuge and strength. We ask for your support and comfort in their times of distress. Gracious and healing. Father, we lift the afflicted, those in hospitals, prisons, and detention centers, those who have lost faith in you as a result of the many troubles of life. Father, we pray for your intervention, healing, and freedom. Let your presence be a source of comfort and hope to them. We declare healing and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that as believers, we shall truly shine as the light of the world. We come against every spirit of compromise and unholy living, every spirit that would make us deviate from the standards you have set for us. We silence such spirit. Help us to live lives that reflect your holiness and truth while standing firm in our faith. We pray that you cast out every whisper of fear or doubt in our hearts and fill us with unwavering faith in you. We want to please you, Lord. Help us to always walk in faith and trust you wholeheartedly. Father, we pray for those waiting on you for the fruit of the womb and the blessing of marriage. Fulfill your promises concerning your children, for none shall be barren. As Hannah cried unto you, and you answered, we pray that you answer them all 
and wipe away their tears. Bless their homes and families, and let your favor rest upon them. We pray against accidents, sicknesses, and sudden death. With faith, we command every unpleasant situation to turn around for good. We decree that there shall be no lack, loss, or limitation in our midst. Every spirit of death hovering around us and our loved ones, we command you to flee. For we shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Even as we summarize this prayer, we pray that you make us channels through which your blessings, miracles, healings, and breakthroughs shall flow into the world. May we not only trust in you, but may we inspire others to trust in you. We open ourselves to the extraordinary work you desire to accomplish through us, and pray that our lives shall be a testament to the power of faith. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel, Power Prayers for Jesus, will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our holy family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.